Hello Aquarius, welcome to your June and July 2024 reading. This reading may resonate with you if you have Aquarius placement in Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I am packing two months of reading, two months worth of reading in one month. Moving forward, if this format does pick up some love along the way, then this is what I will be doing, making sure that you have at least 60 days worth of reading moving forward. <clears throat> uh, what else can I say to you? If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. I do read intuitively. I like to publish these readings at least on a monthly basis. I do have an entire playlist for you. So do check that out. There are readings for our Twin Flames as well as Past Life. Now, I am predominantly a past life reader as well as a shadow reader. There's more information in my bio. If this is not your first time and you're a returning subscriber, I thank you and I welcome you. For June and July, I have provided some brief description over a brief synopsis rather over in the description box below or down in the description box below is how I should be saying it. I've also provided a list of all the Terra and Oracle decks that I would be using today, as well as all the minerals and crystals that you see on my desk right now. Is there anything else? No, I think that's it. So let's get started, my darling. I want to make sure that I would allow your spirit guides and your ancestors to join me as I take a few cards for June and July and try to find out what predominant energies are surrounding you and what can you expect in the next 60 days. Aquarius, let's get started with your cards. I will be taking Oracle cards from two different decks. I always shuffle on camera. If this is your first time, I always make sure you get to see when the cards are coming out. All my readings, the readings, every reading on this channel is free. I do not charge people for anything. I don't take money. I also don't take any donation or anything like that. Nothing against people who do so. I just don't. This is not how I earn my living. So there is no requirement for me to do all of that. Okay, I'll be taking one card for June and one card for July. So let's go. Spirit, what can we expect from my Aquarius Collective as it relates to June and July? As it relates to June and July, you can expect abundance. That's your June energy. And then you can expect a deep, a dive deep or a deep dive, whichever way you want to go about this okay so it's interesting because bottom of the deck you have letting go so you're definitely letting something go perhaps the full moon that's coming up you're beca becoming more and more aware and clearly that is making you very contemplative what are you becoming aware of your gentleness your feminine side the knowledge that you have the ability to attract whatever you want and clearly you are attracting abundance but I think this is not just money abundance I think this is the wealth of information from the universe you have discernment you're also aware of your discernment you're re-energizing you are practicing gratitude you're getting in touch with your inner child you're turning away because remember, you're letting go, right? You're walking away. You're being patient with not just your own self, but the people who have been extremely supportive of you. You are making some decisions. You're guided by your ancestors and your spiritual team through your dream state. Friendship, you may stumble upon new people and your friends are banding together and asking you to be more spontaneous. I do see a lot of relaxation and free spirit. That's you, by the way. 
I'm not taking any of these cards. I just wanted to walk you through the bottom of the deck. Let's see. What do you have from this deck? Two more Oracle cards. I will be taking tons and tons of tarot cards as well to clarify the Oracle cards that are on the table and about to be on the table. All right, Spirit, two more cards, one for June and one for July for my Aquarius Collective. Two more cards, Spirit, two more cards. Your first card is Art. I love this card, Archangel Gabriel. Mm. This is the abundance of creativity. I'm loving this. And do you know why? Because this, this to me is such an Aquarius card because Aquarius in tarot is represented by the star and every and, and, and you also have the Om. So Aquarius is such a spiritual sign. It's such an otherworldly sign. So every time when I see this card, this reminds me of the Aquarius energy. I'm so happy to see some of the cards that I that I love to see, I associate with your sign, are already on the table. Okay, one more, one more card, and this is for the month of July. So there's an abundance of creativity, there's an abundance of conversation and communication, that doesn't surprise me, because June is predominantly and primarily ruled by Gemini, which is ruled by Mercury, which is the planet of communication. And you have, oh, you have peace. Dive deep. You're, you are you are going to have a fantastic conversation with yourself. You, your state of mind, your peace of mind is non-negotiable in July. Like I said, I will be taking more tarot cards, but look at this. Remember when I was going through the other deck, bottom of the deck, I did talk about you moving away or you letting go clearing archangel michael divine justice i love this card this talks about balance this talks about equal reciprocity this talks about divine justice of i'm listening in this talks about exacting divine justice where human justice cannot reach right? Children, some of you could be expecting, some of you could be dealing with your children, maybe, I mean, June is a, a at least on the Western hem Hemisphere, most people, or the schools are off or closed, so you could be spending a lot of time with your, with your children. I did see, remember, when I was going through the other deck, I did talk about you getting in touch with your innocence or your inner child, intuition yes you're doing a deep dive and you're finding you're talking to yourself there's a lot of communication with thyself here surrendering to the universe surrendering to a higher consciousness yes prosperity goes hand in hand with abundance time the time is on your side right there is a sense of stillness and i think that's where the peace card comes from all right Aquarius, let's get into the cards that are on the table. The cards that I've already shown you that are kind of at the back of those decks, they're kind of the underlying energy. Things are sort of flowing underneath it all. This is what you're actually going to consciously perceive and feel. Not that the other cards are not important. They are. In fact, they're more important than the cards that are on the table. But, but you wouldn't consciously get that feeling, right? It, 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 that will happen at a very subconscious level. This is what you're about to see tangibly, about to feel tangibly. Abundance is abundance of whatever that you're hoping to receive in abundance. It could be wealth, it could be health, it could be friendship, it could be just abundance of food, it could be abundance of air, it could be fresh air. It could be just abundance of, of good company, right? And because the art card came out in June, if it hasn't already happened, for, for some of you, in fact, for a lot of you, I'm seeing there's an abundance of communication. There's an abundance of creativity. There's an abundance of creative flow. Like for some of you, you are 
Aquarius writing something. I would be interested to see cards like uh, the Magician. This is a very creative card for me. Uh, I, I'm also interested to see if I... I'm interested to see the uh, the Hermit card, which is a Virgo card, which, which is all about going within. And so as you're transitioning from June, this is full of creative endeavor, either writing a book, writing a column, a blog, painting, art, literally painting. Some of you could be making a lot of money through your art. Perhaps some of you are doing an exhibition. I'm hearing book sales. If you have a channel, if you are on social media or any type of media is the other thing that I'm hearing. For a lot of you, you could be bringing in a lot of abundance through spirituality. People will finally see your vision and appreciate your vision. So there will be an abundance of recognition. As you transition into July, I think because June is such a high, July is a bit of a settling. I don't know who else had kind of the similar vibe. I forget, is it Leo or Cancer? One of the two. But June was like, go, 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 go. It could have been Sagittarius as well. June is such a high. But in July, you, you are sort of taking the time to reflect back on everything that you have experienced here. So that tells me two things. One is the high in June is too massive of a surge. It's almost like the, the surge of a tsunami wave. This surge is too big that it really requires you to kind of take a break, take a pause from it. The other part of it is whatever is happening in June with you, it will also activate some of your higher chakras, like your third eye, your crown chakras. And because I, I, I am drawn towards this cross sign on this individual's forehead. So this is, this is where the third eye chakra is. So for a lot of you, you will start to see things beyond their three-dimensional... I would be interested to see if the hanged man or the hanged person card come out because I think you're you're learning you are learning and observing your environment through a very different perspective and hence the deep dive. Okay. Let's start taking some tarot cards. Now I'm going to get into the specifics of it, right? Oracle is always the outline. Now we have to color within the outline to find out what is it that we're looking at. All right, let's color this reading now. So this is for June. I have two tarot decks. This is for June. So Spirit, provide some clarification, verification of the tarot card, of the Oracle cards that came out for my Aquarius Collective for the month of June. We have art, we have abundance. You're probably also learning the art of abundance is what I heard. The art of manifestation, the art of the art of creating something from nothing. Okay, enough shuffle. Ooh, look at this. I wasn't kidding, right? When I said you will come into a lot of abundance and money for sure, because you have the Empress and the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. I'm not going to take them right now, but we'll see if they come out. All right, spirit. What can you clarify? And just as I said that, she did. Indeed, she came out. Spirit is like you should have just taken it. Your first card out, Aquarius, is Empress. This is number three. This is a Taurus card. Look at her. 
She's sitting on a crown, surrounded by crystal energies. Seems like some formation of quartz, perhaps Lemurian quartz. And she sits on this plush. Unlike the emperor, she actually sits on a very plush throne. Emperor sits on a stone throne. So she's warm-hearted, she's beautiful, she's magnificent, she's abundant, she grows things, right? And she has a growth mindset. She's sitting next to a, a body of water. So her emotion, and it's not turbulent, the water isn't turbulent, so her emotionally, she's balanced. And she's looking right into us right at us, right into the camera. The sky is crimson red, so she's full of passion and vigor. Her heart, she has a big heart. She says she has such a big heart that she has to put it next to the throne. Her kingdom is full of abundance. This is, by the way, Aquarius, if you're new to tarot, this is the abundant card in tarot as far as archetypal characters are concerned. Let me fix the camera. Give me a second. We still have the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. So your first card is the Abundance card. Let's see what else. So specifically, there could be a person who is Taurus, perhaps bringing in some good news for you. And she's also the Queen of Fertility. I did see the children card. So if you are, hmm, you have the seven of wands. This is an interesting card for me. This is very much your defense mechanism. So it's interesting. Your first card is the empress. Like she is the, like clearly, she's the queen of all queens. And your second card is the seven of wands, which is a very defensive posture. So you could be, Protecting your empire. For some of you, this could be about protecting your empire, protecting your family in June, protecting your abundance. But predominantly what I'm hearing is that you're very defensive about this energy. The June energy, mm, I don't think you're buying it. You, to you, it's too good to be true. It's the feeling that I'm getting. You are in, in of two minds. You're like, mm, seeing is believing. Unless somebody drops like a suitcase full of money in front of my house, I don't think there's abundance coming into my life. So there's a lot of defensive posture. And this is like almost a self-sabotage mindset that you're in. I'm doing this reading on the 15th of June. So we are halfway through the month. So you should be able to tell me if this energy is already playing out. Yep. There you go. I also have the full energy, right? This card, which is taking a leap of faith, a new beginning, carefree. So, and full is the child of the empress. So like I said, for a lot of you, you could be dealing with a child. You could be welcoming a child. You could be disciplining a child with the seven of wands. You also have the five of wands. And you also have the Six of Pentacles. Let me take a few more cards. And then I'm going to give you a little bit more information about art and abundance. And what I'm seeing playing out in June for you. And then I will clarify these cards. By the way, Aquarius, don't go anywhere. I do have a surprise for you at the end of this reading. Okay. So your last two cards that came out of the large deck is the Lovers and the Knight of Wands. Okay, so three very distinctive storyline. Because I have a large collective, I have to give you a few scenarios. So for one third of you, if I can put it that way, you are dealing with a very young, immature person who could be your child, could be, you know, your nephew, niece, younger sibling. You apply this as it resonates. This individual is not aware of their own abilities and creativity. And, in, and according to you, they are squandering their abundance. 
They're squandering their talent. They're squandering perhaps their money as well. For some of you, it could be that this individual is either inherited a trust fund or some family inheritance and they're squandering it. And you are trying to keep them out of trouble. And June would be really that. You trying to provide guidance to this individual. It could be more than one, but for most of you, I'm seeing just one individual. You're trying to provide guidance to this young person, to this individual, in one of two ways. One, how to protect their abundance if they already have some, and then how to use their own creativity to create more abundance. So you're literally parenting a child, if I can put it that way. That's scenario one. Let's go to scenario two. Scenario two is has to do with yourself. You are self-sabotaging. With the five of wands and the seven of wands, you think this is too quick, too soon, too good to be true. And for some reason, you're becoming very skeptical, as skeptical as Libra and Capricorn. You're getting very skeptical and I don't think I, in your heart, you know, this is coming together, but your head is not cooperating with your heart. For some of you, if you do have creative creative affinities or creative outlets like painting, writing, singing, dancing, whatever the case may be, you don't think you can make a living out of it. And that's the defensiveness. And this this is the apprehension. For some of you, it could be a matter of letting go your nine to five and taking on this creative endeavor full time. So I can fully appreciate, like if somebody would have asked me to quit my jobs, I have more than one, and and do this on a full-time basis, I, I would have been apprehensive too. So I get that, but, but that conversation is happening, right? Now, that's scenario two. Scenario three is an interesting scenario for me. Scenario three involves, Aquarius, pay attention. Scenario three involves somebody walking into your life who is very well to do. And now this could be a romantic connection. This could be somebody who is going to be your patron, but someone is going to walk into your life either to love you, to be with you, to, to provide you with emo emotional and financial support, or this somebody could be a Gemini, a Taurus, this somebody is going to provide you some financial backing to launch your whatever this is, this creative endeavor is, okay? So these are the three scenarios. Now, scenario two and three could go hand in hand, but these are the three storylines that I'm getting. These are very specific, so this reading may not be for everybody. But this is what I'm getting. Okay, Spirit, could you please clarify the tarot cards that I've already received for June? The Lovers, Six of Pentacles, The Fool, The Empress, Knight of Wands, Five of Wands, Seven of Wands. There's a lot of Wands card. This person could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, or a Taurus. Okay. Spirit. The three storyline that I channel, please clarify, verify. Oh, wow. Okay, it's too many cards, but I will take them. You have the Hierophant, which is another Taurus card. Hierophant is all about upholding tradition, upholding... This is, this is a spiritual leader... Hierophant is also government institution. Hierophant 
is also a marriage card. You have the Wheel of Fortune, which does not surprise me at all because you have abundance here. So Wheel of Fortune. You have the Nine of Cups, that's wish fulfillment, right? Something that will make you extremely happy. You have the Decision card, which I already saw when we were going through the Oracle deck. And you have the Three of Wands, which is expecting anticipation of something. Okay, I asked Spirit to clarify June's energy. So what Spirit is basically saying to me is all three scenarios, still a go, depending on who's listening to it. And by the way, bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Cups, the Five of Cups, the Devil, the Moon, the Devil and the Moon, and the Nine of Swords all coming side by side. You're sorry, can you? Oh, I was like going over there. All right, these three cards all coming together, to get, uh, like all showing up together, is telling me that you are chained and you're paralyzed to this idea that none of these things are going to happen or either is too good to be true. And I'm also hearing that part of this anxiety is tied back to your past experience of always losing out. Okay? Now, what Spirit is clarifying for me with the cards that are on the table, that the decision you have to make is very clear and simple. Very clear and simple. Are you going to open yourself up to this abundance, this blessing that is coming towards you, right? With an open arm. Because you see, this person is sitting there. Can you see it? Let me bring it closer to you. This wheel of fortune that is coming towards you. This person is not open. She's sitting there. But look at her attitude. She has her arms all crossed and closed. So what Spirit is basically saying, and the Hierophant card is sitting here too, right? And the Hierophant card literally confirms the, the third storyline that somebody in a position of authority will be investing in you. Whether they're investing time, love, or money remains to be seen and, and is dependent of your storyline. Spirit is saying, are you going to welcome this fortune to come into your life? So you have a decision to make. You can either be shut down and really question this or you can open this. I I would be interested to see whether some of these energies have already played out. Now, I think for, for most of you, for most of you, you may be, you, you may not be able to make a decision in June and that's why the deep dive. I think this is bringing up some deep-seated wounding in you. Maybe as a child, and maybe that's why the children card was there. Maybe as a child, you grew up in an environment where adults did not fulfill their promises to you, did not come through for you. So you actually do not believe in anticipation, you do not believe in hope, which is a sad, sad statement because you literally represent hope in tarot. The star card is the hope card. So July, and just as I said that, look at this. You are going to overcome. Strength is all about overcoming. You are going to overcome and let go. Remember, there was a letting go card. You're about to overcome and let go this burden that you've been carrying, which is um, unless you see something with your eyes, you do not believe. Oh, I'm seeing it now. So July is all about that. The what is it called? Your spiritual transformation where you will finally come into this understanding that not every truth can be seen through the physical eye, most true, the, the divine truth, the, the truth that is given to you 
from the divine realm is can only be seen through your third eye. I think that's kind of the transition that you're going through. And once, ah, I am getting this now. I'm exceptionally slow today. And just as I was saying that this card was about to flip, hanged man. So the new perspective that you're getting, I'm getting it from between June and July, you are finally understanding that once you change the perspective of how you perceive your physical world, you will get to understand that there's enough space, money, abundance in this universe because the universe is forever so expanding that there's enough for all of us. In fact, wherever you go, there's abundance of water, there's abundance of land, there's abundance of food. You are such a philosopher, though, Aquarius. You will... Oh my God, you will have such a month in July, right? And okay, let's find out some specific cards for July then. Spirit, give me a few cards for July. What can my Aquarius Collective expect? You can expect the sun, Leo energy. You can expect the will of fortune. Listen, Aquarius, I I cannot, I cannot make these two cards up. And Spirit just told me to stop. Spirit said, when the sun and the will of fortune are coming out together, and these are both 10 cards, by the way, that's a 10 number, 19 reduces to 10 as well. So 10, 10. You could be seeing 1010 on the clock, license plate, wherever, oven, I don't care. This is what you can expect. Fortune favoring you. July is going to be a turning point for you. And I already felt that when I was looking at your June energy, like I said, there could be a person or a group of people really investing in you. And just as I split the deck, the, the deck that I'm going to use to clarify further, you have the seven of wands and the eight of wands. This is happening so fast that you're actually getting defensive. And you're getting so defensive even right now. You're like, yeah, whatever. I don't care what she says that I'm having difficulty shuffling this deck. See? Do you see it? I don't I don't know whether this is hang on, let me move the camera a little bit down like so. Like I'm having difficulty like see shuffling and controlling these cards. Like as soon as those as soon as you saw these two cards, your first instinct was this, the moon. Is this right? Is this correct? I'm not sure. Am I to believe this? Look, your emotion is like the back of this. The emotion is, look how fierce, how tumultuous your emotion is. Okay. Spirit, verify, clarify the sun and the will of fortune for the month of July for my Aquarius Collective. Spirit just told me there's nothing to verify or clarify. What Aquarius wants is what Aqu Aquarius gets. Hang on. Oops. Oh, my goodness. All right. That's your card. This one didn't flip, but this one. Look. Oh, wow. So what Aquarius wants, this is your card, is what Aquarius gets. Remember when I told you that these, the star in the art card always reminds me of the Aquarius card in tarot. This is what I meant. What Aquarius wants is what Aquarius gets. Oops. But there is resistance. And I'll tell you why I'm saying this. Hang on. Your mind is not peaceful. The two of swords came out again from a different deck. You're struggling to understand 
Why do you get to be this lucky? And why would somebody so dynamic, so full of vigor in life and prosperity be interested in you? Like I said, remember scenario two and three from, from June, that there are people or there is one person who's going to invest in you because they believe in you. And this person could be a Taurus because I have too many Taurus references here, okay? And bottom of the deck, I have judgment. Judgment is the wake up call. So listen, July is going to be a massive wake up call for you to make a decision and decision you must make. Because if you let this opportunity pass you by, I don't know Aquarius, I really don't know how else to help you. And just as I said that, and I picked up another deck, this is my final tarot deck, and I'll be seeking for advice from Spirit. The Empress card is at the bottom. And then the Justice, which is a Libra card. Remember, we did see the Divine Justice card, right? We did see that card. Okay, so Spirit, is there any advice for my Aquarius Collective as it relates to their June and July energy? Is there any advice, any blind spot, any, any other messages that I should be delivering on your behalf to my beloved collective of Aquarius. I know they are going through a, <laughs> there you go. This card flew, judgment. Your advice is wake up. Your advice is wake up and see what is in front of you, what is coming towards you, and what is meant for you. That's your advice. And Spirit is saying this to you over and over again, that if you miss this, if you miss this, then perhaps in this lifetime, this may not come back again. And you will regret this. You will regret this. You are, the world card almost wanted to flip, but let's keep going. Spirit took, told me to take one more card from this deck. It's a wake up, judgment came out twice. Two of Pentacles and the High Priestess. These are two, two. So you could be seeing an, oh, wow. So judgment is 20, card number 20. So you could be seeing two, two, two. That's a sign. If you do see 10, 10 or two, two or two, 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 that's a sign. So what Spirit is basically saying, you need to listen to your intuition. Intuitively, you know intuitively you know the decision you have to make the leap of faith you have to take you have to be open to this just as i said that again the two of swords what's going on with you aquarius when i keep telling you aquarius gets what aquarius wants then what is the problem then where why is the doubt why are you doubting this all right, I'm going to clarify these last three cards, the Judgment, the Two of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. Spirit, why is Aquarius doubting when you have given more than sufficient of it evidence of everything is going in their favor? So what's, what's the problem? The devil. The problem is the devil. The problem is your toxic traits. The problem is your unhealed wounding. The problem is, yeah, your heart has been broken too many times. People have either walked away from you or you walked away from, or you had to walk away from things because they never came into fruition that you truly do not believe that what you want is what you're going to get. But how about... I show you through the final cards that there is one thing that perhaps this thing that I, I have been channeling for the last half an hour or so that this is guaranteed. So these are my Lenormand cards. Lenormand is not tarot. Lenormand is more direct. So spirit, what is guaranteed in June and July for my Aquarius Collective? What is guaranteed in June and July?
for my Aquarius Collective. Your first card is Moon. Moon is the timing card in Lenormand. Lenormand is different. It's a different system than Tarot. Your next card is Ring. And you have the flowers. Okay? So, let me show you what I'm seeing. I am seeing the time is on your side because you had the Wheel of Fortune. You have the Wheel of Fortune twice. You have the Empress probably three times. You have the Hierophant twice. You have pretty much all the Abundant card. You have, you have the word Abundance sitting here. The timing is right. The time is yours. This ring, this promise, Whoever making this promise to you, either in love or in work or in, in investing in you, this promise is not meant to be broken. It's guaranteed. This ring represents promise. Promise of partnership, promise of friendship, right? And you have the flowers card. Flowers are all about celebration. So the timing is right. The promise is going to be carried and kept. And you are going to have a celebration. This is guaranteed, Aquarius. So what Spirit is saying to you via me is do not, do not let this opportunity pass by. All right, my darling, until I see you next time, take very good care of yourself. Bye now.